Hello YouTube, my name is Nero, today we have some more Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered playing some Domination here on the map backlog. This is actually a really awesome gameplay I got the other day, but I'm not going to be talking about it. I hope you guys just sit back, relax, and watch it while we discuss one of the most interesting things to happen to the Call of Duty franchise in a very long time. And that's saying something, considering all the incredible news that has been coming out recently. There is going to be a Call of Duty documentary. It's been in production for about five years, but pretty much nobody knows anything about it because their advertising and their marketing has been absolutely terrible. It's going to be called the Codumentary. As I said, it's been in production for about five years now. It is going to be covering the entire history of the Call of Duty franchise, starting with its inception back in 2003, leading up until modern times. And the best part about the entire thing is it's going to be a completely independent production, which means Activision will have absolutely nothing to do with it. And therefore, it is not going to be full of PR fluff and marketing and packing themselves on the back it's going to be the real story of the call of duty franchise as told by the developers who made the games former community managers industry insiders fans and pro players and people who are going to be able to give us the real scoop about what was happening behind the scenes throughout the history of the call of duty franchise now i will say that based off of the advertising that i've seen so far which admittedly there is not exactly a ton of advertising it does look like this documentary is going to be having a pretty hefty focus on esports and competitive Call of Duty and how that has grown, but it is going to be covering the entire Call of Duty franchise as a whole. In this trailer, we do see some familiar faces. We see Chance Glasgow, formerly of Infinity Ward, and we also see JD2020, otherwise known as Josh Olin, the former community manager over there at Treyarch, so it's definitely going to be pretty awesome to check this thing out. I'm hoping there is something for everybody with this documentary. I'm hoping that while, yes, we are going to have a lot of esports things in here, I'm hoping they do dive deep into some of the drama of the Call of Duty franchise, such as, did you guys know that Call of Duty 4, the game that, of course, Modern Warfare remastered, remastered, did you know that originally it was just going to be another World War II game? The reason why is because at the time, Activision thought everybody only wanted World War II. They did not believe in the modern setting, but Infinity Ward believed in the setting. They believed in their game. They had to convince Activision to allow them to make Call of Duty 4 a modern warfare game. How incredible is that? So I hope they go into detail with that. I'm hoping they don't just gloss over the mass exodus that Infinity Ward had from Activision following modern warfare too. For those that don't know, this happened a very long time ago, so maybe chances are some of you guys have no idea what I'm talking about. After Modern Warfare 2 released, the original Infinity Ward team, pretty much all but like five people, left Infinity Ward, left Activision, and they formed Respawn Entertainment, the people that of course made Titanfall, because there was this big legal dispute with Activision, and we really know nothing about it, because Activision has kept pretty much all of that under wraps, so I'm hoping that in this documentary, we get to learn a bit about that. I want to hear from the people who were actually there, what it was like inside the office, knowing the game was broken, knowing all these things were happening, but knowing they couldn't actually do anything and then actually leaving the studio like there's a lot of drama behind the scenes that I'm really hoping they cover in this documentary but of course as we've seen from the trailer here there is in fact going to be a lot of COD esports stuff but I'm hoping they kind of have stuff for everybody in here we're gonna have to see how it actually plays out it's going to be releasing on September 19th on VOD platforms such as Amazon iTunes Xbox and PlayStation and pretty much everywhere else but again this is an independent production therefore sometimes sister Distribution is kind of an issue. We've seen that with like indie games and stuff like that in the past. So we're going to have to see how it plays out. If nothing else, I'm going to watch this thing. I am super interested in this stuff. You guys know me. I'm a big COD nerd. Like I'm the guy who made a long, long video talking about the Call of Duty 4 pre-alpha showing you guys the maps and stuff like that because I'm just, I'm super interested in the behind the scenes stuff in the Call of Duty franchise. So if nothing else, I'm going to watch it and I'll let you guys know how it is. But I want to make this video letting you guys know that the Codumentary is in fact a thing and it is coming out this September because their advertising has been awful. There's no official YouTube channel. There's really no official Twitter. There's really nothing. It's just so all over the place. So I want to make this video letting everybody know that it is in fact a thing. That's pretty much the main focus of this video, but there are a couple of other things I would like to discuss, such as our friends over at Game Informer have posted a new video doing a walkthrough of the new World War II map Gibraltar. They actually have the lead multiplayer designer for Call of Duty World War II with 
with them, talking about the verticality of the map and actually visiting the place in real life and just talking about what goes into creating a Call of Duty map. Definitely a very interesting video. The Call of Duty World War II Private Beta starts for the PlayStation 4 in less than a week, ladies and gentlemen. So be sure to follow me on Twitter if you guys would like to play because I will be playing the beta a ton on all platforms and I will be tweeting out when I am hosting open lobbies when I'm playing with subscribers. So be sure to follow me on Twitter if you guys would like a chance to play. Keep in mind, I can't play with everybody, but I'm going to try to play with as many subscribers as possible during the Call of Duty World War II private beta. I will be playing on the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. So follow me on Twitter if you guys would like a chance to play. And I would like to end off the video here with some Twitter news and information, but I would like to point out that I cannot confirm if these images are real. I have no idea where they came from. They were just tweeted to me, and I figured I would pass the information along to you guys. So as you can tell, Martel here tweeted these images to myself and a couple of other YouTubers. A very interesting looking rocket launcher on this guy's back. So as you can see, he has the regular RPG on his back, but he also has like this AT4 looking rocket launcher on his back as well, which is interesting because such a rocket launcher does not exist within the Modern Warfare Remastered multiplayer. Could this potentially be a glitch that is foreshadowing weapon kits coming for RPGs in the future? It doesn't make a ton of sense considering RPGs are perks, not weapons, so I'm not sure how that's supposed to work. Could it be hinting a new rocket launcher maybe coming to supply drops in the future? I have no idea. This was tweeted to me. Nobody really seems to have any information on it whatsoever, so I thought I would post these images here and see what you guys think down there in the comment section below. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts on the Codumentary as well as these images down there in the comment section below, and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.